Dear co-workers, dear sisters and brothers in Christ, greetings. Thank you for the invitation to share the theme, the church for such a time as this. Charles Dickens once wrote, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. And also, the author in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 say, there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. We understand everything happens in a specific time with a special meaning despite there are times that we could not understand and comprehend it. As we see, there are many challenges that we are facing. And the situation we are in now. So I wish to share with you by using a few words starting with the alphabet V. The visible challenges. We know that with the change of government in the last about one year there are a lot of instability as well as situation in Malaysia particularly and also in addition with the virus attack this invisible virus but have caused major destructions and constraint to our life and during this time also we see the vulnerability of many people the vulnerable groups not mentioning them particularly specifically but for general public we fear of losses like loss of our job business our family our lives our education and the insecurity kicks in and creep in unknowingly because many do not know what the future holds and also at the same time we see many divides the poor those underprivileged community have been affected the most and with these volatile situations we know that to the politics to the safety to the economy to many areas of life affected and also it will challenge our values the challenging values challenging understanding about our work about our worship about our God about the physical gathering about the churches about the, even the building the worship the Holy Communion our own identity and etc and this invisible tracks also we must realize beside the visible one the invisible tracks as recorded in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 for our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers against the authority against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms especially during the pandemic our love towards God towards one another may go cold that's why in book, the book of uh, Matthew chapter 24 verses 12 to 13 say because of the increase of wickedness the love of most will grow cold but the one who stands firm to the end will be saved because of this track we seem to be more inward looking neglecting what is happening around us the public square the freedom of speech the freedom of beliefs and what is enshrined in the Rukun Negara and our constitution we must never lose the sight of it and because of these challenges we put our hope in another v that is the vaccine with the introductions of vaccine we at least find a little bit of hope we hope that the productions of it we hope that it will be effective in combating and counter attack or to contain the pandemic situation and also we need to be you know aware of the whole process from 
the production up to the vaccine introductions to the general public. And we pray that more, most people or all people could have this uh, vaccine. Sisters and brothers, at the same time, we hear voices. Many voices. The voice of the poor, as we already mentioned. The voice of the underprivileged. As we have been locked down, we receive the statistic from the government that the domestic violence increased and even the divorce rate have increased. And we need to understand all this is challenging our views, the views of the world. And the, we need to understand what is the view of God and what God teaching us. And in the past, we might be focusing on certain things that might not be the true teaching. But we need to emphasize on the basic. The basic thing that we should have the personal relationship with our God. That we should spend time reading and understanding His words, His will. And we need to love our God and our neighbors as ourselves. And all this bring us into full maturity in Christ. And we could also be having the victory in Christ. What Jesus wanted us to do. As God has sent him into our midst, he came to this world for us. He was crucified for us on the cross and he died for us he buried for us and he have risen for us so our whole identity should be in Christ and also we need to keep ourselves humble as Christ did there are many things that we do not know during this pandemic that's why we need to rely on one another and we need to keep our eyes and our ears open. Sisters and brothers, that all of us should be vigilant. That means we should be awake like what the Bible has told us. We should not fall into sleep and we should not fall into the traps of the evil one. And we should keep our hope in Christ, not to fear, but to the faith in Christ. And He has promised He is with us. God's Emmanuel is with us. Romans chapter 8, verse 28 also say, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. We need to emphasize on those basic. We need to develop and deepen our relationship with Christ as he has demonstrated his life when he was 12 years old he was desired to get to know God better and he was in the temple court and we need to pray keeping each others in our prayers and we should not forsaken our first love as in Revelation chapter 2 verse 4 say that we have forsaken the love that we have at first and be thankful always to appreciate what we have not to wait until it is missing especially during challenging time like in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 16 to 18 say rejoice always pray continually give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus Sisters and brothers, through this shared experience, we should be more humble to acknowledge our limitation. We don't know everything. There are a few things that could help us with this shared experience. First, to have visible unity in Christ. Ecumenical movement is very important. As Jesus Christ has taught us, 
in John chapter 12 verse 32 say and I when I am lifted up from the earth will draw all people to myself and he prayed for all the believers in John chapter 17 verse 21 that all of us should be one remember ourselves the promise of God on each one of us in Romans chapter 8 verse 39 that nothing will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord and secondly we need to pay attention to the voices of the vulnerable thirdly we need to take very good care of ourselves so that we could take good care of others and our loved one self-care in terms of physical mental emotion spiritual I think all these are important number four verification as we know that with this new era there are many fake news so we need to verify before we share before we spread it and number five volunteers we need to mobilize more volunteers to serve serving in many areas especially in the social concern ministry as all of us are aware that when we are being locked out in one place the other places that have need we need to mobilize others to come up to serve and the prayer ministry we need more prayer warriors to keep watch and seeking God's guidance and directions and it has taught us during this time also we need to mobilize volunteers those who know better in medias and IT and especially those who are younger one you know they are more equipped to this area sisters and brothers there are many things that we could pray for our country Malaysia for government for churches for pastors for members that we could pray individually as a family as a group or even physically or online physically when it is allowed during the pandemic and online it is always possible may God help us and lead us that we will not forsaken the love that we have at first and be thankful always be encouraged nothing will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord that this experience shared experience will help us to be more compassionate more gracious and merciful to be like God to be like Christ be still and know that I am the God we need to stay focused in order to pray, to lead, to serve others. May God help us. Amen.